What's up guys? So this is the FL Studio Melody Cheat Sheet. So I'm just gonna show like really just quick t simple tips to making a fire melody and I'm just giving you like a huge huge like advance in the game because like this is stuff that took me a really long time to figure out so like here you go or right after that and I'm just gonna get right to it okay yeah number one let's make sure that this is an either beat or half beat so you can record quickly I would put this when you're when you first start I put it about 110 and then see like what you play um, and you'll see what I'm talking about also like guys get a good VST like for making melodies because these melody sounds and Electro X are just on a higher echelon and there's really good free sounds so this is a free VST kit and it has really nice sounds so pick something I prefer to start with chords too just and take your time just Maybe not that one. That could work right there. So boom. Just think about what pace this is in. Yeah. And then like maybe try to envision a rapper on it. Take your time with it. See how I'm just going real slow? Yeah. 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 So like that that's little four four note chord. Dun, dun, dun. Maybe a little faster. Maybe it's a little bit faster. You and you want it to just be how you play it naturally. That's the pace you want to. You don't want to like get the BPM first, then play it. So, so yeah, that is too fast. Let's go back to one hundred. I was like, what was I playing this at? Yeah. So maybe 90. Again, this is important. Maybe it's 80. Maybe 85 would be perfect. Maybe 80 is just a little bit too slow. So figure out your BPM. That's important to a beat. And then work. I'm just gonna record like an actual melody. I'm gonna do it exactly the way I would do it. So A, B, control A, control B. Get that full pattern in there. Take the metronome the heck off. Cheat sheet key number 15. Get rid of the metronome as quick as possible. And then like, if that's cool, it's time to move on to the next sound. Clone. Either you go with the same sound. I prefer to do a different sound because it'll just add a little bit more flavor. Do you have multiple instruments? Just like a band, like orchestra. You don't wanna just have like five food players. Like you want like. And just go with whatever you can do. So again, don't settle. Take your time and don't settle for anything that's like less than what you want to hear, if that makes any sense. So like I'm taking this off because I don't know what pace it's gonna be at. And I'm just gonna work with it. So just Now we look, let's go back and again, just Melody Saw Secrets, Melody Cheat Sheet. So we see where it's at here. It's not too complicated of a pattern. I'm basically playing the same thing every time. So we could just, we can cheat, cheat. Sorry, like, I don't know why I keep saying that. Do, do, do. 
so we don't see how we went from manual to not manual to just like let's get this money so like now we have like a pattern that quick and know your hotkeys man that's another cheat sheet know your hotkeys i got them right here but like Go for that third sound. Bring this back to beat. Clone. Okay. <laughs> Make sure you vibe in the background too, just. All right. Then pick a third sound. I've seen like a lot of great melodies just made with that three, something about it. Try not to interfere too much with the high end. Or the low end for that matter. And if it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit. Like, So we can go with that. It doesn't have to all be at the same, like in this first bar too. Like you can, you'll see what I'm talking about. with that we'll see what we can do with that oh that's a prime example like i should just obey my first rule so now it looks weird see what i'm saying see i should have done this in half beat oh see now i'm annoyed Shift there. Do, 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 do. I, li I like where this is going though, so I'm just gonna keep working with it. And also, just like you make a melody, just relax, man. It's like an unwritten rule. Just, just chill out. I don't even know how I'm supposed to go, maybe like that. Do, 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 do. I don't even know, let's see. Now I gotta listen to it again. Uh, uh, uh. Do, do. I like that one. I like that variation there. Sometimes. The, the, the cool thing with melodies is like sometimes you just make a mistake and it sounds cool. And you just keep it cool. I think that's that's good right there. Maybe we could like add a little bit of panage. Just I call this just the touch of greatness. I just made that up. I don't really call that. Be careful doing that though, because it may sound corny. You can enter the corny realm, which is a realm you don't want to be in. Now this is already mixed. This is like an old template. I shouldn't have done that. I don't really like doing too much with the uh, melody. 
Although this is fine because there's no low end, really. But I do like to look at the EQ at least, so I can know where I'm gonna place the drums. So we know that there's a lot of room for a sub, a lot of room for bass. Sometimes you just know because A, we didn't play it, but you know, there's more room for sub than bass here. So bass or sub would be real nice, nice low end. And we see also like there's just a lot of room around here too. So it's good to just analyze that for a second. But let's let's replace, we're gonna go, we're gonna do straight patchers. Cause patcher is like, in my opinion, the best plugin that's free uh, for melodies. So first one, we're gonna try the compressor. There's a lot of cool ones you can try. So I don't feel like you have to do one thing or another. Okay, that's one patcher. I like the convolver, but I like patcher more. So we're gonna swap this out with patcher. And we're gonna do the same thing. But let's let's try, you could try any of these, all these like put in work. I'll try the chorus one. I like these one knobbers cause it's just like, you just get a real cool sound out of it. Uh, I'm not really feeling this one though. I usually use the reverb. I use one. I use the reverb. But you know, you're welcome to try anything. I just feel like this reverb's hard. Also, like you see, you hear the chords are just a little strong. They're just like, Durr. it's turned out tad. No big deal. Ooh, so we know that effect is kind of hard. But we're gonna use Patcher. <laughs> this video should be called, but we're gonna use Patcher. That's cool at all, but uh, we're gonna use Patcher. So this one's the, this one is fire, man. Like the keyboard one, and just up the warped a little bit. Just you can hear the difference. But like, I feel like the warped is like yes, fab, yes. The funky knob I don't really use too much. I guess it's very unfunky. I kind of keep that where it's at. Put the presence one. Up there just to, uh, I just like the warped one really. And then if it's where you want it to be, last thing I would do is go to the limiter. Limiter. Even though it says half speed, but this is a limiter. I just named it that a while ago. You see how the chords are hitting just so hard? Maybe just... The melody's already kind of low, so you don't need to like turn down the gain much. Well, you know, we know what the sound is, so I would just turn it down. I think that's the best way to go about it instead of having that but then it's like I kind of miss it a little bit it's a little harsh there so just figure out the optimal volume Takashi 69 maybe Takashi and that is my melody cheat sheet guys and then of course you know build it no big deal So just to review guys, get you a good VST. Um, take your time always. Try these cool mixer effects. Subscribe to Slimey Beats. Peace out.